Hey guys, this is Vinylik Puma, back with another Fallout 4 countdown video, and today I'd like to go over 10 of what I think are among some of the best perks for beginners and just the early game in general. But before we start, and to explain my rationale when putting this video together, my goal here was to make a list that serves as a more general guide that will allow you to build your character how you want. So with that in mind, I'm going to be avoiding weapon-specific perks like big leagues and riflemen. Also, I'm going to be avoiding crafting perks like Blacksmith, Gun Nut, and Science, as I'm going to assume that you're going to pick these perks up already based on how you build your character. With something like Gun Nut being ideal for ranged weapon users, and Blacksmith being more ideal for melee users. With that in mind, this list is going to consist of perks that help with the acquisition of various resources, or perks that provide good general boosts or buffs to your character. You don't necessarily need to get all of these perks immediately or within your first 20 levels or so, but I think you'll find if you get a few of these earlier on, it can make certain aspects of Fallout 4 easier both earlier on and later on in the game. And as always, there are plenty of perks to choose from in Fallout 4, so if you don't see one here that you think should be included, definitely let me know in the comments section below. But enough intro, more video, and let's go ahead and start with number 10, and that is going to be the Demolition Expert perk. Even though you can make the argument that the Demolition Expert perk isn't as useful for melee playstyles, I'd still say it's a great perk to spec into provided you're using any weapon with the explosive effect, if you're using something like a missile launcher or fat man, or if you're just using grenades in general. Not only does the Demolition Expert perk allow the player to potentially craft grenades, but it also increases the damage of grenades by 25% per rank, meaning you can double your grenade damage at rank 4. Additionally, rank 2 draws the grenade's throwing arc in real time, rank 3 boosts explosion radius, and rank 4 will double the damage of grenades in mines that are shot while in vats. You can even get boosts to the base damage of your explosive heavy weapons like the Fat Man, Missile Launcher, and Broadsider, and this perk will also improve the damage of any weapon with the explosive legendary effect. So if you're using ranged weapons, which is likely the vast majority of people, I'd say this perk is definitely good to have. I also think this perk makes sense provided you go with some of the other perks that are below it in Perception. After all, Pickpocket, Rifleman, Awareness, and Locksmith are all great perks that you may have, and if you manage to come across an explosive effect weapon that gels with the rest of your build, getting Demolition Expert will be worth it. Just remember that you need 5 Perception in order to spec for Demolition Expert. Number 9. Nuclear Physicist Despite the extremely high requirement of 9 Intelligence, Nuclear Physicist is a great perk that's very versatile. Not only does it allow you to double your radiation damage at rank 2, which can be achieved as early as level 14, but it will also improve the duration of your fusion cores as well, with their duration being doubled at rank 3, which can be obtained as early as level 26. Early on, you'll find that the bonuses to fusion core duration are most useful because they work so well with power armor. The improvements to Fusion Core Duration are really noticeable, and by the time you get to rank 2, you should be able to wear Power Armor pretty much all the time without worrying about running out of Fusion Cores. However, and once you get to the later portions of the game, the improvements to Radiation Damage become more useful, since you'll likely have a Gamma Gun or some other method of dealing Radiation Damage to enemies. Red Damage is really useful, since it essentially reduces the max health of an enemy meaning if you're fighting a legendary raider, gunner, or brotherhood of steel soldier, and they suddenly mutate and regenerate all of their health, provided you're using a weapon with some form of radiation damage, they won't regain all of that health, making them much easier to take down. Just keep in mind though that radiation damage doesn't work on all enemies, as some are either resistant to radiation or actually end up being healed by it, like feral ghouls. Like I said though, this perk will be really useful if you plan on using Power Armor. However, even if you don't use Power Armor, you may find the boosts to radiation damage are pretty useful for debuffing some legendary enemies. So be sure to pick this perk up if you have a high intelligence stat. Number 8. Chem Resistant and Chemist While this is a 2 for 1 recommendation, both of these perks work really well together in concert as Chemist allows the player to improve the duration of the chems they take, and Chem Resistant allows the player to reduce or even outright prevent addiction. 
Early on, I think it's fair to say that chem resistant is more useful since it will prevent the likelihood of addiction and by the time you're level 22 or so and have both of these perks maxed out, you will be able to totally prevent addiction and also be able to benefit from whatever chems you take for twice as long. I think you'll find that both of these perks are pretty useful since chems in general are pretty overpowered. Things like jet basically slow down time, Buff out can provide a nice strength, endurance, and max health boost. Comex can boost your sneak attack multiplier, and Overdrive will improve your damage in addition to allowing you to perform passive criticals. Taking both of these perks earlier will allow you to really take advantage of the massive stat boosts that chems can provide, while also being able to totally avoid their side effects with maximum investment in chem resistance. In my opinion, both of these are great perks, and if you want these, Chem Resistant is available if you have an Endurance stat of 4, and Chemist is available if you have your Intelligence stat at 7. Number 7. Bloody Mess While somewhat gruesome, Bloody Mess is the only perk in the game that will provide a universal damage increase to your character regardless of what weapons they've built around. So, whether you've put together a melee build, rifle build, pistol build, or what have you, Bloody Mess will always be effective in improving your base damage, and for that reason, I'd have to say that picking this perk up is really a no-brainer. It also doesn't hurt that the progression of this perk is pretty good early on, with rank 1 being obtainable as long as you have 3 luck, and rank 2 being available to be obtained at level 9. Between both ranks, you're getting a 10% universal damage increase, which may not sound like a whole lot early on, but becomes more cumulative as you get stronger weapons. After all, rank 2 in Bloody Mess can take an upgraded Gauss Rifle from 192 to 211 damage, and an upgraded Plasma Sniper from 120 to 132 damage. Provided you spec fully into Riflemen, which brings the Plasma Sniper to 240 and the Gauss Rifle to 384, Rank 2 and Bloody Mess will increase that to 164 and 422 respectively. So as you can see, this perk will provide cumulative damage improvements as you get stronger, and by taking Bloody Mess early, you'll have a pretty nice boost once you reach higher levels. Typically what I do is spec up to Rank 3 of this perk and then just leave it alone. After that, just try to use some of the more powerful weapons that are compatible with your build and other weapon-based perks, and I'd say you should be good. Number 6. Strong Back Depending on how you decide to allocate your strength when you start your character, Strong Back might be a good perk to pick up if you want additional carry weight. At rank 1, you can achieve an additional 25 carry weight, while at rank 2, which can be acquired at level 10, you get another 25, for a total of 50 to your carry weight. This will allow you to carry a lot more stuff, which is especially useful early on, and if you've put together a strength build, strong back will go well with additional investment in strength to further improve your overall carry weight. You may even find you like additional investment in this perk as well, if you find you tend to be over-encumbered a lot. Rank 3 at level 20 allows you to use action points to run. Rank 4 at level 30 allows you to potentially fast travel, which is really useful, and if you have the Far Harbor DLC, you can get a rank 5 at level 40, which will reduce your action point cost while running by 50%. While I don't think you need to max this perk out, you may find rank 4 is really nice to have, as the ability to fast travel can quickly get you to somewhere like Sanctuary, or even your other settlements, to dump a lot of the excess stuff you're carrying. Honestly, I'd say you can't go wrong with strong back. If you've got 6 strength already for your build, or if you have 4 or 5 strength and you're willing to put additional points into this stat, I'd say it's definitely worth it to do so, as the improved carry weight is always good regardless of your build. Number 5. Awareness. So, what awareness does is pretty simple, as it shows the player both the resistances the target has, as well as their level while VATS is active. Thus, it can allow players to potentially determine how strong or difficult an enemy will be to take down. As you might imagine, this would be a really good perk for beginners, due to the fact that awareness essentially allows you to see how strong a given enemy is before taking them on. What also makes this perk ideal is the fact that it's essentially one point provided you don't have the DLC and can be acquired extremely early on, as long as you have 3 Perception. So, the requirements to actually get this perk are pretty low, and provided you actually do have the DLC, you can rank this perk up again for some additional accuracy and damage bonus while in VATS. 
Otherwise, there's not really a whole lot else to this perk, and if you want it, just be sure to pick it up as soon as you're next level up. Number 4. Action Boy and Action Girl So, this perk is pretty straightforward as it improves the action point regeneration of your character. The first rank provides 25% faster AP regen and has no level requirements, while rank 2 can be acquired at level 18 and provides 50% faster AP regen, and provided you have the Far Harbor DLC, rank 3 of Action Boy or Girl can achieve as much as 75% faster AP regen, though you will need to be at least level 38 to make it work. Now, the reason this perk is useful is because action points are used fairly often in Fallout 4 regardless of your build. After all, everything from using vats, to sprinting, to using jetpacks, or even using bash or power attacks consumes action points. Thus, it stands to reason being able to regenerate your action points faster is of great benefit to the player. With this said, I will admit that this perk does tend to work better provided the player has a higher amount of action points. After all, all this perk really does is improves the regeneration rate, and the more action points you have, the more AP you can potentially regenerate and then quickly use. If you ask me though, this is a pretty great perk for all builds, and if you want it, just be sure to have an agility stat of 5. Number 3. Scrapper The Scrapper perk is a great perk that simply allows you to get more resources from scrapping items. It requires 5 intelligence, and at rank 1 and 2, it allows the player to retrieve more uncommon resources when scrapping weapons and armor. For example, you'll be able to get things like aluminum, screws, copper, circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics when scrapping weapons, where before, you might just get some steel or other very common crafting components. Obviously, having access to some of these rarer components is very useful, since a lot of modifications typically require some of the rarer or more uncommon components. Beyond weapons and armor though, Scrapper will allow you to retrieve more common components from scrapped settlement objects as well, which can be really useful since certain settlement objects don't normally allow the player to retrieve any resources when they're scrapped. Ultimately, I think this is a perk you're going to want, so be sure to pick it up once you've got your weapon and other crafting-based perks sorted out. Number 2. Fortune Finder and Scrounger So, both of these luck perks together should make it a lot easier to find more bottle caps and ammo in containers. Additionally, both of these perks should be fairly easy to get as they require minimal investment in the luck stat, with Fortune Finder only really requiring one luck, and Scrounger requiring two luck. Both of these perks also scale at about the same rate too, with Rank 2 being acquired between level 5 and 7, Rank 3 being acquired between level 24 and 25, and Rank 4 being acquired between level 37 and level 40. Speaking of Rank 4, Rank 4 in Fortune Finder provides the player with the ability to occasionally have enemies explode into a shower of caps upon defeating them. It's not much, but in combination from the other benefits from Fortune Finder, you should find you can accumulate caps a lot faster. In general though, both of these perks are pretty simple and straightforward and should be helpful really early on since a lot of vendors will usually have really high prices and stockpiling certain ammo types can be really difficult. So I'd say regardless of your build, both of these perks would be a really great choice if they are taken really early on. And finally, number 1, Locksmith. While I suppose you can rely on a companion to pick locks for you, Locksmith is a highly recommended perk that I recommend you get since it's going to allow you to access a bunch of areas and containers that wouldn't normally be accessible. By level 7 and with proper perk point investments, you'll be able to pick up to expert locks, and you'll be able to pick master locks by level 18, thus allowing you to pick just about any lock in the game. I also recommend Locksmith over other perks due to how there are simply a lot more locks in this game when compared to hackable terminals. There are also plenty of instances where you can either hack a terminal or pick a lock, and obviously, being able to simply just pick the lock is a lot more practical. Beyond rank 3 though, I think Locksmith's usefulness is debatable. Not only is the level requirement for rank 4 really high, but there's a really good chance that you have a bunch of bobby pins by the late game already. 
So while the ability to not have a bobby pin break is nice and it prevents resets, I also think you certainly can get by without it. Overall though, Locksmith is a great perk to pick up for all players of all levels, so just be sure to have a perception stat of 4 and you should be good. Alright guys, thank you all for watching and I think that's going to wrap up this particular video. If you liked this video, definitely be sure to leave a like, click the bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos, and as always, and again, thank you all so much for supporting this channel. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.